Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Udaya Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about ACB, Air Circuit Breaker and what are the major parts of the Air Circuit Breaker. So before we start this session, I would like to request you, if you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's get started so basically what is ACB so ACB stands for air circuit breaker so a circuit breaker is a device which is capable to break a circuit automatically under fault condition so means circuit breaker is a device which is capable for break the circuits here let's say this is the circuit breaker okay and uh, here this is the main in camera and this is the outgoing and over here this is the motor so in case of fault in the motor let's say short circuit in the motor so in that condition what happened it will break the circuits during the short circuit fault event under voltage fault event earth fault so these are the fault condition in that condition this circuit breaker will actually break the air circuit breaker break the circuit hence it will protect the motor okay and it also prevents from so what are the condition with uh, actually circuit breaker trip so these are the condition over current means overload then over uh, short circuit then earth leakage so these are the major faults in that condition only circuit breaker will be trip now here another is make or break circuit manually or by remote controller on normal condition so suppose this is the air breaker and over there there is a manual and then tnc switch okay even from uh, like a scada plc from there we can also we can make or break switch it switch it on or off the breakers with the manually as well and by remote control as well okay now so generally acb it is installed in lt panel or other 415 volt electrical panel so this is for generally for 415 voltage and it is installed in lt panels and it is used for power supply receiving and for incomer so generally it receive for power supply as an incomer and distribute to the feeder panels so a circuit breaker is used for switching mechanism and protection the system so what are the systems it will protect actually it will protect even transformer okay so from ht side actually vcb will protect and from lt side acb will be protected and between it our transformer so it will protect the system like a transformer then motor even also it will protect then generators also okay in case of any fault it will not allow to transfer the fault to the our system so these are the function of the acb air circuit breaker now let's discuss about its parts so what are the parts of the acb so these are sand coil or sand relay then clo closing coil or relay closing relay under voltage relay then micro logic controller and a spring charge motor and micro switch for a spring and auxiliary contacts and arc shoot or a splitter so for for here so this is the actually parts as you can see in the picture so one so one is the actually reset button for 
so over here one read switch now one is for reset in case of any trip condition it will upside and if we want to reset then we have to push it okay so this is the reset button and another is number two is off button if we want to break this circuit breaker manual then we have to press over here and another is off position lock even then electrical closing push button that that means we have to switch or switch it on through this and then a spring charge indication it means if the motor spring charge is charged that means it will indicate over there push button locking seven number which is here then contact indication these are the contact in indication and operation counter so these are the operation counters and over here this is the micro logic controller over here we can look the what are the current drawing the circuit or acb and uh, settings throughout this controller we can do this settings of over current then the overload like that and earth leakage values and even source circuit currents through this micro logic controllers okay now let's discuss each parts one by one so first let's discuss sun coil sun coil relay so basically what is the function of sun coil relay so it look like this if you look into over here so over here this is the plunger and actually inside it we have a coil so it might be 24 volt dc operated so so this is the sun coil so what is the function of the sun coil as you can see over here this is also so this is the actual coil so sun coil basically used to trip the circuit so actually uh, in ACB there are two contacts so one is moving and another is fixed okay so if the circuit is in closed condition if we have uh, any fault like overload or short circuit or earth leakage during that condition actually logic controller will pass the voltage will activate this sun coil relay and it will it hit this plunger will actually hit at this contact and it will release the spring charge so that in that condition it will break the circuit so basically overall you can simply say what is the function of the sun coil relay it will basically trip the or open this circuit in case of any fault okay or by manually we can give the power through this TNC switch where trip neutral TNC switch trip neutral and close and another one is closing coil so simply so it look like staff similar but plunder it inside okay so in case of now fault is clear now we want to switch or switch it on the breaker during that condition it will help to close the or make the circuit even it will operate manually through this tnc switch remotely okay now under voltage relay again this is the under voltage relay so this will protect from under voltage suppose we have set it to 380 volt if voltage goes below that let's say 360 degree 360 volt under that condition this relay will activate and it will trip the it will give the command or trip the circuit exactly now another is micro logic controller so this is actually controller with the help of this we can set the instant current which is overload then short circuit then earth leakage so this with the timer 
so with the help of this micro logic controller we can set the parameters as per the ratings and load connected on that breaker okay so over this display we can look we can monitor uh, during the visit of the portion of the healthy panel or breaker now another is a spring charge motor so this is actually motor which is a universal motor so it can operate through or plus or means uh, dc or ac both so this is the actually a spring charge motor which is universal motor so now over here so you can look this is the a spring charge motor and uh, basically why it is required because because of moving contact so this way release according to that always it requires tension it has to be charged now micro switch for a spring charge so it has a motor again so suppose a spring is like this it is not charged and during that condition actually this contact through the auxiliary contact of this micro switch motor universal motor is running so now if it will reach to like this then this micro switch will activate it and it will stop the motor so motor is integrated with this micro switch as per this spring tension means spring charge now another is auxiliary contact so as you know that acb has also external auxiliary contact like normally open normally close in case of on condition in case of off in case of trip condition so these are the auxiliary contact and this is the auxiliary contacts terminal box through this we can take the status now arc shoot and splitter so this is the actually arc shoot okay so what is the function of basically uh, arc shoot so during the opening of the circuit in case of any fault it will break and during during that time actually arc is generated basically we can say fire is generated so which so actually acb is stand for air so our quenching our quenching medium is this air means this one normal as per ambient so here as you can see this is the metal so through this metal actually this arc is divided through all a splitter and it will distribute and it will extinguish through this so this is the arc shoot which can extinguish or split the fire arc and it, may, it can be extinguished so this is the main function of the arc shoot so this is the basics of the acb so hope you guys understand about what is acb and what are the major parts of the acb so in next video we'll discuss about its control wiring so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you so much see you again in next video